Hey, what's up to everybody out there? Welcome to another edition of the Roundtable Talk. I am your host, Steve Money, and in this episode, we are doing another history in South Florida. We are down here in the lowest of the lowest, Florida City. Now, before we get into a little bit of it, I want to tell you that I, up until my early adulthood, I didn't know about Florida City because as a young person, I always thought that the last city down here was Homestead. And as I got a little bit older, and because they never teach you this in history, I got older, I found out that Florida City is the last known city in the Miami-Dade County area before you hit the seven mile bridge to go to the Florida Keys. Now, right now we're here at the 344, Southwest 344th Street parking ride lot, which is also a bus terminal for several bus routes here in the Florida City area. All of the buses here, this is the last stop for them, you know, Except for one bus, we're going to take you over and walk through. I'm going to give you a little background on this. Florida City was incorporated in 1914. So you can see that this city has stated back for over a hundred years. Now, here, like I said, this is the last city in the Miami-Dade County area before you hit um, the Seven Mile Bridge which is over there which we'll probably get to which is US-1 as well. Now here is a bus stop for one of the buses that goes inside of the bus terminal which is um, bus 35 and there are two other buses there's a 301 and a 302. Now the 301 is the most popular one because that is called the Dade Monroe Express. What is that is, it is a bus service that starts in Florida City and takes you to the lower part, or I'm sorry, the upper part of the Keys in Marathon. Meaning, it don't take you all the way to Key West, but once you get to Marathon, you get off and you can transfer to a another transportation system which will take you to probably Key West or close to Key West. Now the bus service, the 3101, is, up, is, is owned and by Miami-Dade Transit. Miami-Dade Transit operates, well, owns the rights to the bus system. I was trying to wait till this car go by. But the bus is ran by a charter company named America's Transportation. It is a motor coach, just like something like Greyhound, that transports each and every passenger from Florida City to Marathon. They have several stops in there. They have several stops. They go to Marathon, and I believe, I'm not for sure if it's Key Longo, but I know they go all the way to Marathon, and they come back there's another bus that comes over here too which is the 344 that's one of the buses that does not go inside of the um bus terminal but 344 is a florida city route it travels within the florida city area and 302 which you saw earlier was the car town express it goes to a um goes down car town road and i believe that is as you can see here um that this is the bus stop for the the first and in because this is Florida City City Hall right here so this is the bus stop that the 301 starts and in that but 302 Cartown Express is a bus that you know goes it, I believe it's a retirement village if I'm not mistaken or I know it's some type of well known place where you have to they only operate during certain hours of the week and you have to have a credentials to access to get inside of the area like say for instance like you know you're at the guard gate you have to show credentials or you have to show credentials on the bus to actually go in and out of where it goes 
I don't know exactly about the information. If you know, let me know. Now, that's City Hall right there, and this is where the 301 starts. Now, we're gonna walk. Now, if we get to see one of the buses, um, America's Transportation is a charter bus service here in the South Florida area. When COVID hit back in 2020, Miami Dade Transit started using their company to use them for select bus routes for COVID social distancing, meaning most of their routes that they had was like express routes and basically, um, you know, most of their routes that they were using them for was like basically express routes. They've been using them all together for the 301, but when COVID hit, they started using them for like the 95 Express and certain express routes and certain routes that they needed them to do to practice social distancing. When COVID started dying down and they started relaxing on rules, they started going back to using public transportation buses. And now America's transportation is only used by the 301 route and also other companies that request their services. They're no longer, the only services that Miami-Dade Transit used them for is for their 301 route, which is to the Florida Keep, well, to the upper key. Now we're over here, back on the back side of the park and ride lot. Now, like I, as I mentioned earlier, Florida City is one, it's the last city in the Miami-Dade County area. The next city is Homestead. When I was younger, I always thought that Homestead, you know, was the last, you know, city here, you know, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, Homestead, I thought it was the last city before you get to the Keys. Now, I've never been to the Keys, but eventually I'll probably go and I'll probably visit and probably do a video, but I've never been. Yeah, as you can see, 301 Card Sound Express. I believe this is probably the bus stop for the, I mean the 302 Card Sound Express. If you know any information about that, you can. You can look it up on there. Yeah, you know, they're not gonna give you any information on it. Now, also with the bus terminal, or the 300, well they don't really call it the bus, so they call it the 344 feet parking ride. Now, this light here is the busway. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background about that. In the 90s, and early 2000 i know it started in the 90s but it, but it continued in the 2000s miami dade transit started a new thing called the busway see there go one of the buses coming down a busway was a road a private road for only buses and local authorities meaning police cars and ambulance and stuff and it carried passengers from the Dayland South Metro Rail Station which is in Dayland all the way down to halfway down to the South Dade area when it first started it, it only carried you all the way to Cutler Bay then they started extending it throughout the years. In the early 2000s, they started extending the service. This is the busway for the south. And as the years went by, they extended it. And then they extended it all the way to Florida City. What this is, is that these are exclusive lanes for buses only that travel. Because normally buses will travel down um, South Dixie Highway to get where they needed to get. So they decided why not create a bus lane service. And I'm quite sure there's others in other cities where you can go down and you can ride the buses and stuff like that. Um, where there is less traffic, you know, less congestion. There are bus, there's not a bus stop at every bus stop. There's bus stops once you pass the Cutler Bay area because most bus stops from Dateland to Cutler Bay, majority of the bus stops all about a minute apart or so. But once you pass Cutler Bay, you're gonna get like every two minutes or so, you're gonna get a bus stop. But that also puts back into the perspective where, you know, it is more convenient for the buses and the passengers to go. 
even though a lot of these buses are spreaded apart a lot of these stations are spreaded apart because this bus stop is 344 the next one i believe is 328th street and then the next one i believe is 220th and i know it you know they're 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 far apart so that's basically one of the things so they decided to make a bus street just for that and not only just for the buses for authorized vehicles meaning any transit vehicles like supervisors or any vehicles from Miami Dade police um, ambulance and stuff when they need to get to wherever they need to get to they can travel along the busway as well you know because South Dixie Highway is the main street that people ride to get to the northern part and the southern part you know South Dixie Highway goes all the way up to the Vizcaya area which is the Coconut Grove area and then as you know when 95 ends you know 95 our interstate 95 ends after you pass ends when you pass the Coral Gables I mean when you pass the Brickle area and you going into the southern part of Miami I-95 ends just before you get to Coconut Grove and it turns into South Dixie Highway which is the main highway here now due to the weather or oh, I'm gonna give you something I was trying I was gonna record earlier but it started raining and storming so I had to cut my um, recording short and I had to wait till it stopped raining because of the fact that there was rain and storming and then I had to wait till it stopped raining and of course there's a lot of water here so I have to walk around to where I can't get caught in the water um, this video actually was supposed to be recorded days ago but due to the uncurrent weather that was here throughout the week I had to prolong it you know remember the last video I did I was at California Club and it was raining a little bit where I had to prolong and hurry up and do the episode where it didn't rain as bad and it probably rained even worse in certain areas so I had to put on the video and, and I had to rush because I didn't want it to storm and everything it's still lightning out here I see a little bit of lightning out here it's not raining as it is um so what I'm doing now we started at the parking ride lot I'm gonna get a little dirty because I have on white and I wasn't expecting it to rain like that I didn't bring my umbrella and we're now coming up to US 1 which is also South Dixie Highway which is the street that you get on to go to get to um to, to take to the Keys US 1 goes out to the 7 mile bridge but there's more shops and more things one of the places that is down here that no longer exists now the building still exists and I'm going to give you a the last time I was here it was many 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 moons ago well um, by the way this is actually part one of Florida City we're gonna part two we're gonna go to a shopping center here in Florida City that it's not kind of it's not really popular but it's where the people go to to shop it you know it's like their southern end shopping area now this is US 1 344th Street Palm Drive is basically the last main street that took, that goes east and west to before you hit here which is before you try to go down the 7 mile bridge now there's a lot of stores and shops that that are here because there's a Burger King over here that I had went to that was you know I had to go to this Burger King because it started raining and I said okay let me grab a bite to eat and I'll wait in here it slows down and then I ended up there's a Walmart for the north of this um, area they used to have bus service to that Walmart but they just continued the bus service and a lot of the buses well they still have bus service the 344 goes in the area oh, oh oh if you're wondering what the transport America's transportation buses look like here's one of them right now here's one of the buses these are the buses and it says marathon which is this is the buses that carry you. This is the 301 route. This is the 301 route. It has to go over because there's a bus stop in front of the Burger King. So now the bus has to go over and it has to let a passenger on. 
that's the buses that carry you from Florida City to Marathon in the Upper Keys. Now, if you can see from where I'm seeing, there's a Long John Silver's right there. Now, the Long John Silver's is closed because I remember I did a video um, recently, like a while back, where I told you most of the Long John Silver's in Miami has closed. They have a few in um, Broward County, which is in the Fort Lauderdale area, but all of the Long John Silver's in Miami have closed. But this is one of the ones that the building still stands because I recently visited High and Lear. And I saw that one of the buildings, that the Long John Silver's building, they have the sign up, but the building was actually torn down and it's an empty lot. Now that Long John Silver's is actually still sitting there. It's just boarded up. Now I can tell you here, traffic is really ridiculous over here. So if you come out here, you know, you get a lot of people that's heading. This is the way down that street to get to the Florida Keys. Not the Florida Keys, but yes, the Florida Keys and to Key West and to Marathon and Key Largo and, you know, there's Miranda and, and something there. There's a KFC there, there's a Wendy's, you know, there's a Denny's, McDonald's was closed down, which is what I wanted, but at that time, you know, it started raining harder, so I had no choice, but I had to just say, okay, well, I'm just going to have to go to Walgreens, I mean, to Burger King. Now... Florida City is not a big city. It is really, it's not big, but it's not small. But it is um, a, a city that, there's not a lot of entertainment here. There once was a fun center for kids. I, I did take my nephew here when he was younger. And it was here at this shopping place I was, I'm telling you, that we're going to go to and I'm going to show you. But it has since moved and then not only that it probably has closed down as well so but there's a lot of hotels here near the near this area because in Florida City like I said this is the last um this is the last city before you hit the seven mile bridge to go to so the key so there are a lot of hotels this is the days in um there are some over here I've, there's a mutineer restaurant i've never been to there i've seen it before since i've been here yeah there's a lot of restaurants if you go further down this way you'll run into the homestead speedway which is miami dade's racing um facility, race car facility this is, you know, a race car facility, you know, and stuff like that in the in the Miami Dade County. They, you know, like they have the Daytona 500 and Daytona B. This is the Miami Dade Speedway. Now, 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 coming up, you're watching it. As you see, this vehicle that's coming up that looks like a small van, it is actually the 344. This is the 344. Now. The reason for this is um, about 10 years ago or, or similar to that, Miami Dade Transit wanted to eliminate and costly money by using another subcontractor. Because remember, they also use America's Transportation for as a subcontractor to operate their 301 route. They started using routes that have smaller ridership or low ridership. They started using another subcontract company. This one is called Transportation America. They started using them to operate their smaller low ridership routes. 344 is one of them. A lot of the smaller routes that they that was used by them got eliminated through the Better Bus Network. And we're going to talk about the Better Bus Network in the future. In another episode because I keep mentioning that but I never get to it but the 344 is one of their smaller routes because it is a Florida City route and as you can see by the bus was passing this is 344 35 doesn't really go over here anymore it used to come over here because the 35 um doing selected trips 
operated to the Homestead High School, which is a couple of blocks down. And it was one of the rides that the kids had to do. Hey, I, I went to Homestead High School. I want to jump on the bus. But now the 344 goes closest to them, um, closest to the Homestead High School. But a lot of people doesn't ride the route, so they use the smaller buses and they use a, a contract bus service. Transportation America is something like a, a special transportation service. It's like they use, they have, you know, they have different companies. They have ambulance, they do a lot of the um, trolley services, and they, you know, they have the little cars that pick up people from their house and take them to their doctor's appointment, like the medical thing. They have a lot of that. So you're gonna get a lot of that. And they started using them as bus service for their smaller rocks. Now there's only a few of these that routes that they have now because before the Better Bus Network, they had maybe 10, close to 20 routes that used the service. Now they only have very few since the Better Bus Network launched and they didn't have a lot of, you know, service. Oh, you gotta, excuse me, I'm over here by all of this and flies are coming into my ears um, and stuff like that. So this is one of the, as you go further out this way, you're gonna end up at the Homestead Speedway, Homestead High School, I believe the Everglades National Park. One of them is over here. I forgot which one it is. All right, so this is the end of the Florida City episode. We are now going to kick it over into part two because I'm not giving you a whole in-depth of walking around the whole Florida City area. I'm just giving you an in-depth look of it. We are now finna head into the Florida Keys Outlet Center, one of the premier shopping store area places here in Florida City. If you want to know more about Florida City, Google them, check it out. If you want to know things to do in Florida City, as I did, there's not much to do, but you can Google them as well. Also comment at the bottom of the page. I'm sorry, y'all, there's a lot of flies here, so I'm trying to wrap it up. And you can also email me, roundtable00 at yahoo.com. I'm your host, C-Money. Thank you for watching this. Stay tuned for part two of Florida City, and I'll see you in a little bit.